Welcome to an appliance hot take from Curto's Appliances, serving Westchester County and beyond for seven decades. It's late 2022, and why is it so difficult to buy appliances? Maybe this question should be reframed. Why was it so difficult to buy appliances in 2021 and half of 2022? Or why is it so difficult to buy appliances like certain European dishwashers and certain built-in refrigerators? First, the macro 30,000 feet above view of the appliance landscape in late 2022. The supply chain issues that ensnarled this industry have abated, big time. Inventories have been building at manufacturers and distributor warehouses. Buying co-ops are flush with product. Want proof? Next month will mark the return of Black November Black Friday promos. These disappeared during the height of the supply chain woes because what would be the purpose of offering promos when there were no product to fulfill said promos? I can look at certain brands which disappeared off the grid for over a year. KitchenAid refrigerators, KitchenAid dishwashers, Speed Queen laundry, front load gas dryers, and I see them all in relatively plentiful stock now. Of course, there are still rough patches. Bosch dishwashers, Miele dishwashers, Sub-Zero refrigerators. You can put down a deposit on these products and wait and wait and wait. And certain customers are doing this because of their brand loyalty or what they perceive as best-in-class product. But there are other ways people are handling it, and they're pivoting. Let's go through some examples. Dishwashers. When someone contacts us about replacing their favorite European dishwasher, which is not available, we shift them to ASCO. This is not a trade down. The Swedish born ASCO is super quiet, offers a flush installation, dries better than the competition due to their fan dry system, and I'd argue that they're built better as they use more stainless steel and are heavier. Other options would be offering some Blomberg, Fisher Paykel, Monogram, and KitchenAid, which has recently come back after disappearing for well over a year. Let's say that you need to replace that 17 year old Sub Zero whose compressor is now wheezing like it's mnemonic. Here are your choices. You could put down the deposit and wait patiently for one year for the new Sub-Zero to come in. Or you could see if there is a monogram available as it's a seamless fit for a Sub-Zero cutout. Monogram built-ins, by the way, are about seven to eight months out. Or you can tweak the cabinet width, if you can, by half an inch and get another built-in refrigerator and there are plenty of those available, probably too many. So as you can see, it isn't so difficult to buy appliances in late 2022. It's actually pretty straightforward. One just needs to be flexible, have an open mind, and be prepared to pivot if need be. That's my hot take. Questions, Jonathan at curdos.com or call us 914-793-5600. Thank you.